and he's off again. You can see the drills unfolding now, and then James will pull up to pick up his AB line. And he will go. Fans on, so fans blow the sea down all the tubes. Now you can see the disc dropping in. The wheels, the back wheels, only carry the weight, so they're not turning now. They only carry the weight when the drill is turning on the headlands. So why do we bother rotating crops? Surely we should simply grow the most profitable crop every year. Um, now, the, the type of rotation a farm adopts... Um, depends on the goal the farmer is looking to achieve. This could be weed management, which is a significant factor for us in looking to control black grass. It could be increasing nitrogen in the soil or controlling erosion uh, or increasing soil structure and organic matter. So we're an all arable farm. We do invite animals in to help eat our crop residues, but generally um, our crop choice is often related to a combination of profitability and attention to the plant families in order to mitigate disease and pathogens. So uh, wheat is our most profitable crop, therefore we start our rotation with wheat. Um, however, you can't grow, or we can't grow continuous wheat because of a root pathogen called take-all. Um, and that's a major consideration when you're having straw crops following each other. Uh, so our second stage in the rotation is all seed rape or canola, um, which is our next most profitable crop. However, it's a very high risk crop and suffers from um, an insect pest called cabbage stem flea beetle, which is resistant to uh, all insecticides. Um, so, assuming we survive and we manage to grow a crop of canola, then the next, um, we will then go back to wheat again. Um, from wheat, we will either then go for, it will always be a spring crop, but it could be spring barley if it's light land, or spring beans, or spring wheat if it's heavier land. Um, spring beans perform well on heavy land but they suffer from fusarium foot rot and nematodes which means that you can't grow it too tightly in the rotation um, every six years uh, rather than every four. Uh, spring barley, uh, the specification means that uh, it's better grown on light land and uh, in this particular case uh, we've gone for spring wheat. gone through with the carrier um, and this was originally planned to be spring wheat this crop um, and um, we've had such a open autumn we've decided to plan uh, to plant our spring wheat uh, now in the um, in the autumn uh, it'll give us an extra ton of yield which reduces our cost of production. And so I've just come back inside because um, that was uh, pretty freaking cold, actually. And I just wanted to go through our reasoning here. So this was, it was planned to be spring wheat. Um, we really struggle to get through all of our workload in the spring. It's a probably higher pressure uh, time than in the autumn and so for the last few years what we've done is if we we 
by try and get hold of our spring wheat seed early and then if it's a protracted open autumn we will use the opportunity to plant uh, spring wheat um, this year the difference was about three tons a hectare um, so spring varieties yielded about uh, 8.75 uh, whereas spring varieties planted in the spring yielded um, 5.75 to 6 um, obviously that has a profound impact on our cost of production um, so if we get the opportunity to plant these crops in the autumn we will and um, this is this variety is Lennox uh, for the last three years we've grown it on a Warburton's contract um, this year that's not available they haven't managed to source enough seed uh, but we are happy with the variety so we're going to continue to grow it from uh, home safe seed